Here's a noon update for July 17, 2013. On the S&P, uh, 30 day, one minute chart. Um, we got, it's so simple, one, two, three. I mean, it's just, it's so clear cut. Like, when I bought into that last breakout way back in July 1st, um, I ran into a zigzag, which I knew was a zigzag two. And I knew it would be a zigzag, a zigzag two into a three. So I held it and held it and held it and I made a new pro auto number. It was a big, it was a big trade, but hmm. a lot of money though. I think it was over, I think it was eight thousand, was it? I had a couple of trades that uh, that were just awesome. I mean, I it's like I I bought right at the 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 two break and the the third wave breakout ran to a zigzag and then um, ran to a zigzag and then just rode the third wave up as much as I could. What I try to do is try to go in and out of the third wave every time I do it, but. Things that having the belief that there's a third wave behind you is like amazing. It's like you know that the third wave is going to push you up. And um, I called it everything. I'm talking every fucking thing for a long time. I've been calling everything perfect, man. The, the, the market has just achieved simplicity for me. It's like amazing. Simplicity. I've achieved simplicity in what I've done. And the market. And a bull market is very easy. It's like all you see is one, two, threes everywhere. And it's like, I mean, it's so obvious to me that after a zigzag, there's a third wave. And it's like, it's almost hard to, to fathom what, what my ability is to do this. I mean, I'm seeing things so rapidly and just, and like, I, it's like I was trained in the past 15 years during this shitty market to two crashes, two bubbles and two crashes. Like, something was teaching me like the hard way of how to learn the Elliott Wave. And now that it's reached simplicity again, after what, 10 fucking years? Wow. Anyway, the Dow. Um, simple. One, zigzag, two, three. Highest target would be about 16,000, I believe. 50,800. One, two, three in the Dow. And SP, my target is, uh, um, for one, two, three, is 1705. And it's like, if this is not 1.618, I don't know what is. I mean, that's why I'm thinking about getting, going back in there. Uh, for NASDAQ, 1, 2, 3. And this is the best looking chart right now because it's grinding. It's like a big, crazy grinder. It's like everything is happening right now is a 1, 2, 3 grinder. It's like, I just don't, you know, it's kind of hard to, like, imagine, like, a market that's so simple. <laughs> you know, it's like... To me, at least, I'm like, I don't have millions and billions of followers. I have maybe like right now, probably about eighty thousand, hundred thousand followers. But probably like a thousand of them have paid for something, you know. So in the past like six or seven months, it's like I'm making a lot of money for a reason because I'm doing things that no one can do. And um, it's hard to handle it. I mean, I'm, I've achieved like a fanatical following and like a really fanatical following and um, I'm trying to figure out how how to to move to the next level to the next big fucking level but I need to I need the like the a guidance from someone like Jennifer Aniston or like <laughs> Jennifer Aniston hey Jennifer Aniston how do you handle this this, uh, this sudden rise of celebrity <laughs> now how about well, who's already rising right now how about like Milo Kunis I don't know anyway that's a wrap <laughs>